Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day 28. It is Thursday and I've been up for a little bit, took Miss Penny out and made some breakfast like you guys saw. I think it's about 10 right now. So I slept in a little bit, but not as bad as yesterday. Like I did not get up until like noon yesterday, which I still cannot get over that my body did that because my body has not done that in a really, really long time. Like normally my body would just wake me up at like nine at least because that's what I'm like normally used to getting up. So yeah, I think I was tired from the day before because I got up at like 5 a.m. because we are crazy. But anyways, um, I made some coffee made a bagel with some cream cheese on it. I'm just about to edit the vlog from yesterday, get that up, and then I do have to make a call to Microsoft, see if I can figure that out. I'm hoping I can because if I cannot, then I'm pretty screwed and I do not want to have to deal with that. So let's hope I can get my password reset and all that. Um, and then for the rest of the day, I will be doing some designing and I do need to put a load of laundry in a little bit later. So yeah, that's going to be our day and we are going to get started. I'm going to eat some food. I also should probably shower because my hair feels really greasy. So that's another thing I'll do tonight. Um, I do want to go to the gym, so we can do that after we go to the gym. Okay, I will see you guys when I'm finished editing the vlog. Hey guys, so the video has been uploaded. If you have not gone and seen Vlogmas Day 27, then go and check that out. Mm. Also, that was not me farting, that was my foot, I promise you. <laughs> but um, I filled out another form to go to Microsoft. I basically did some research on my Skype and like who was on my Skype and what my Skype name was and all of that stuff to get that solid. Um, I also like looked back at some books um, from when I was in college because that's when I actually changed my email address to my newer one and I just walk up the stairs so I'm very tired, out of breath, but I looked up some emails of some people I might have emailed when I had that email um, and I sent in more information. I tried to think of all the passwords that I could have possibly used, put as many as I could down, so fingers crossed they, they come back and say that that's enough. If not, then I'm going to call them when I get out of the shower. So we're going to have a shower right now because my hair is looking really gross. Hey guys, so I'm now done in the shower and while I was in the shower, I got an email saying that it wasn't able to process it and that I didn't give enough information. So they actually said in this email that the best thing to do next is to make a new email address and that cannot happen because I need to get into this email address. So I think the only other thing I can do is call them and I'm really nervous to do this, but I have to do it for the Planning Roses Instagram because I really, really need to get that back. Because the only other thing I can do is to make an entire new Planning Roses Instagram and I really do not have to want to have to do that. So yeah, you guys can tell by my voice that I'm very nervous right now and I'm hoping they can help me and Let's do this, and then I will update you guys when I'm finished. Okay guys, so the craziest thing is happening right now. Basically, I tried to call Microsoft their like customer service, and it's some automated system where I can't get through to talk to anybody, which is so frustrating because I want to talk to a person and get them to help me, but that is not happening, so I'm like getting red. I'm getting crazy right now, but... So, okay, back to the beginning. Basically, with resetting my password for my email address, um, I needed, I had two different phone numbers, two older phone numbers that I had when I was younger. Those two phone numbers were with that kind of like as backups for when I needed to reset a password. So I found out one of my old phone numbers and texted them and I'm like, hey, does anyone own a phone with this number and someone texted back yes I didn't know that someone could get your own like your old phone number so I asked them I'm like okay this might sound absolutely crazy but can you help me out 
getting back my old email address. Like all you'll have to do is give me a, like a little code. Um, cause I think if I picked that, oh, uh, that's not it. <sighs> I'm getting, they're like, I'm waiting for them to text me back with the code, but they said, yes, I can help you out. And I said like, Hey, I'm a legit person. I have, and here's my Instagram. Here's my YouTube channel. Like, please help me. Like I am like, oh my goodness. I don't know who it is, Jessica. Ah, uh, what? My phone company? No, no. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm just waiting for them to send me the code if they received it. And I'm really, really hoping that this works because this is like my last kind of thing. Oh goodness, please work. This person, if you watch this video, like literally you are helping me so much and I cannot thank you enough for this. If this works, I don't know if it's going to, but I'm hoping to Jesus that it does. So yeah, it says if blah, blah, blah matches the last four digits of your phone number on your account, we'll send you a code. So please, Lord, let this work. Okay, I'll see you guys when I have more information. <laughs> I don't want to be crying right now, but I am because I reset my password and I'm so happy right now. I just want to say thank you so, so much to Carly. I asked her what her name was and her name's Carly. So thank you so much, Carly. You have no idea what this did. I was able to change my password for my email. I can now log in, hopefully. Like, I don't know why I'm crying so much right now because I haven't even gotten into the email and reset my password for Instagram. But I just want to say thank you, Carly, so, so much because you seriously just like saved my business Instagram. And I've been stressing about this for the last, like, week, and oh my god, I'm so emotional right now. I'm definitely getting my period soon, guys, but this, I cannot tell you how much this helps me, and oh, I've been stressing, and I'm, I've already said all this, so I'm gonna go figure this out. I'm gonna get back on the Planning Roses Instagram. Thank you so much, Carly, and I don't know who you are, where you live, if you're watching this video right now, but you seriously, like just that little thing that you did, seriously just saved my life. Not my life literally, but the Planting Roses Instagram and just my business, cause that's literally my life. So you pretty much saved my life, so thank you. But anyways, I will update you guys when I get back into the Planting Roses Instagram. Fingers crossed, everything goes okay. I am in the same spot, but amazing, amazing news. I seriously can like not stop smiling, but I am finally back in the Planting Roses Instagram and I posted and I also posted on Facebook group and I cannot tell you guys how happy I am right now. I'm gonna go downstairs. We are going to make some food. It is 529 right now. I have not done anything today other than this and I am stressed out now. Well, not stressed out. I'm definitely not stressed out because this is good, but now I need to go and design my life away because today was supposed to be a full-on design day, but that did not happen. So instead of making chili tonight, like I said I was going to, I think I'm just gonna make something quickly, maybe Velveeta or possibly Bagel Bites, just like my easy go-to things that I always make. I'm gonna make one of those and then we're gonna head downstairs and I'm going to start designing the third collection. Like I told you guys, I started last night with the birthday kit and I'm so excited about it. I just want to make a really awesome, unique birthday kit that you guys will love. So yes, I'm gonna go do that. And I'm also gonna get dressed because I've been sitting here in my robe for a very long time, but at least I'm clean, I'm happy. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am. Oh my goodness, this is the best day of my life. This is literally the best day of my life. Maybe not, it is just Instagram, but guys, it's my Planning Roses Instagram. And I'm mind blown right now that I just solve the mystery. It's just amazing. So anyways, I will see you guys when I am downstairs designing. Maybe you guys will see a sneak peek. I, because I'm now in the Planning Roses Instagram, I can start showing you guys sneak peeks for next week. And I am so excited also. I need to make sure that I'm not having any nip slips. Okay, bye guys.
at the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try But who cares? No big deal I want more I want to be what people are I want to see, want to see them dancing Who is that girl I see Staring straight back at me Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another PM pillow talk. Woohoo! <laughs> Anyways, I just finished reading through all the comments. It is currently 12.18, so it's not too too late. I finished all of the vertical kit of the birthday collection. I don't really know what it's called yet. I actually asked you guys on my Facebook group, Planting Roses, um, to give me some name ideas for that collection. And actually whoever's name I pick gets a free vertical kit. So if you haven't gone and seen that, um, I don't know if I'm going to pick one by the time this vlog goes up, but definitely go check out if I have not already, then give me, give me an idea. But anyways, I am going to get to a few questions before I head to bed. Originally, I did want to go to the gym tonight, but because the whole Microsoft password thing took a lot of my day, I've decided that I'm just going to hold off on going to the gym and I might go to the gym either tomorrow morning before I start working again or tomorrow night. So I don't know quite when I'm going to. I'm thinking I might hold off until tomorrow night just because I just had a shower and my hair is really, really nice and really smooth and I don't want to go to the gym and ruin that. So I'm going to kind of keep the clean hair until tomorrow night. I don't know if that's like a good idea, or not a good idea, but like a good reason to not go to the gym tomorrow morning, but that is my reasoning. But anyways, um, first question is from Karina, and she said, I live in the USA, and I saw my Costco carrying the brioche buns. I wanted to buy them, but I didn't know how to eat them. How do you eat them, Jenna? And if you do not know, um, I talked about these bun thingies in my last, like yesterday's video, um, so if you haven't gone and check that out, gone and check that out, definitely go do that. But with the brioche buns, literally, I do not eat them with anything. They're that good. Like, I have told you guys in the videos that I really, really like just dough. So I literally just take, like, two or three of those buns and have them as a snack. And I think it says on the package um, how many calories per bun they are, but literally just eat them without anything. Um, I do think if you wanted something to like dip them in, hummus would be a good idea. I think that would taste yummy. I'm trying to think they would, but I think they would. Next question is from Wow It's Haley. She said, I'm sad that these vlogs are ending soon. <laughs> They're the highlight of my day. Aw, I'm so glad I could be your highlight. Uh, but quick shop question, when are you releasing your February monthly kit? And I'm going to be releasing um, either four or five collections. I'm considering doing five collections um, on January 5th. That is when all the collections are going up. So that means that there's going to be either four or five different options for your February monthly kit. And then I'm hoping that February pre-sales pre -sales will be shipped out by, um, I think it's, the 15th is the Monday, 14th, 13th. So either like the 12th, which is the Friday, or 15th, which is the Monday, that's when I'm going to be shipping them out. Okay, so the next question is from Maria, and she says, Hey Jenna, I want to start a sticker shop next year, but I'm not sure what silhouette I need, the portrait or the cameo. Why are you using the cam cameo and not the portrait? Thank you for your answer. Love you, Penny, and of course your vlogs and videos, or videos and vlogs. 
P.S. I'm sorry if my English isn't the best, but I'm from Germany. And girl, your, your English was amazing. But um, basically, I don't really have a reasoning why I use the cameo and not the po portrait. Why can't I talk tonight? I honestly just, from the beginning, purchased a cameo and I've always liked those. My thing, um, I actually don't want to purchase the newest cameo because they don't have a, um, I think it's like a repeat job button which is just, it makes it so much easier rather than having to start each silhouette individually on your computer. You can just go repeat job if you're doing the same sticker sheet. That is like one of the main things I really, really like about having the cameo is that. And I don't think the newest cameos have that and I don't think the portraits have that. So that really, really helps me out when it comes to cutting. Um, so yeah. Next question or comment, it's not a question. It is from geometry dash toxin and i found this so funny because a few people have asked me this but the comment is i watched a repost of your song my jeans and i still don't get why people hate it it's really good i think people didn't like it the reason people didn't like it was about jeans and the auto tune was real but keep up the good work and funny thing if you do not know there is another youtuber slash singer girl named Jenna Rose and she came out with a song called My Jeans and it became really popular. It was almost like um, Friday from Rebecca Black, if you remember that from like ages ago, like a really, really bad song that like went viral. That was kind of like Jenna Rose's My Jeans and everyone thinks I'm her but I'm sorry, but I'm not her. I'm a different Jenna. She actually contacted me years ago when I first started YouTube and said that we looked similar and that we had the same name and it was super cool and that we should follow each other. And I do follow her, I believe, but I don't think she has posted anything recently. But yeah, it was funny that her name's the same as mine and that you thought I was her because I'm not and I do not sing those songs. Next question is from... Nicole and she said I love going through car washes. I always do the colorful soap ones lol I want to do that so bad. I just get nervous um, With like things I've never done before so I just always think I'm gonna mess up and mess things I don't even know how you could mess up a car wash, but I seem to think I would but her question is How did you get over your fear of highway driving? I've had my g2 for about three to four months and I still cannot do it on my own um, without another driver in the passenger seat. Any tips? And my dad actually gave me this one tip that has really resonated with me. And it's like a really easy tip, but basically he just says, if you stay in your lane and you watch around you, you're good. It's a really simple tip, but it's helped me a lot with driving, even in like not highway driving, like literally driving, stay in your lane, and you're good. Okay, and then the last question I'm going to be answering today is from Portuguese Rose, and she said, I'm I'm a no pulp kind of gal, and yes, girl. And because of you, I bought the Deluxe KD, but haven't made it yet. Yes, girl, I'm so excited. I actually had that for dinner tonight. But her question is, just curious, do you still take Penny to socializing classes? If not, why did you decide to stop? I do not take Penny to socialization classes anymore. I took her to probably five or six of them and just nothing changed whatsoever. And I really was kind of getting frustrated with like her not making any progress. And like I realized that a lot of the dogs were a lot bigger than her. And it was just, it wasn't gaining us anything. She was not getting any more comfortable and honestly I think that she was just starting to get more afraid of that room because it was just like a basement room, no windows, with a bunch of dogs running around and really I think it would be best for her to like go to a dog park or something so I do want to do that um, this coming summer, springtime, but obviously right now in the winter it's not really a good idea because I literally take her out for like two minutes and she's already shivering. I feel so bad for her because she's teeny tiny. I do put a sweater on her, but she still is cold and freezing. And she's right here. Hi, babes. So yes, yeah, she's definitely more of a person dog. She's definitely not much of a dog dog. That makes sense. She loves people and she gets along with everybody. But put her with a dog, she's not that happy. So yeah. 
anyways, that is everything for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also comment down below any questions you have. If I did not answer your question today, leave it again and I will try to get to it for sure. But if you're not subscribed already, definitely do that as well. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Today was an awesome day. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am and how much of a weight is lifted on my off my shoulders now that I have the Planning Roses Instagram back up and running. And it's just, it's good. Maybe I'll get Starbucks for breakfast tomorrow just to celebrate this awesome time. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. The stars in the sky are shining, flashing so bright like lightning, feeling that it's finally here, it's that time of year.